and get those in early. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Michael and Katie's bridal party and parents. Beginning with our parents of the bride, Paul and Mary Kay Hines. Sit down. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, if I could have everyone in the room, please rise. Oh, 
It is my honor and privilege to introduce to you on their first day as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Michael and Katie Galata. So, ladies and gentlemen, you may take your seats. <laughs> she pushed me and said, go up and get a cupcake. <laughs> Hurry up, go, go. Everybody's going. Go up. Nobody's going. <laughs> So, he and Mike the cake. There we go. Aww. 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 So sweet. Now, can you, can you return the favor? Okay. You better not. Forky and I are going to be there. Aww, this is so sweet. Mike, give your wife a kiss. Strong. Because they have, ever since I started here, all they have heard for the life. Today was so much fun. You guys made this day awesome. Last night at the rehearsal dinner, she gave the whole speech, and I got off by just saying, well said at the end. But, um, I guess tonight I should say a few more words. We're just, we're both totally overwhelmed. I didn't realize we knew this many people, but um, thank you all so much from the bottom of our hearts for coming and, and spending this day with us. We really appreciate it. And um, let's enjoy dinner. She said, oh, man. Some of our people that we really need. Katie, and it's true. <laughs> All right, well, you guys can be seated. We have uh, another person who'd like to come up and welcome everyone here tonight, and that is Paul, our father of the bride. So this is kind of a welcome, kind of a toast in between, but let's put our hands together once again for our father of the bride, Paul. You know, just about every day before this wedding, I made a visit to the mailbox. And I was looking for these little cards. And I walked back in the house and I said, Mill, everybody's coming to this wedding. <laughs> Maybe it's time to think about weenies and beans. <laughs> and obviously that didn't work. But then there was a card where somebody had checked, unable to attend. And I walked back in and said, Mill, what the heck's the matter with them? <laughs> People have come from near and far to celebrate a very, very special occasion. And I actually have a list. Texas, California, Michigan, Colorado, Illinois, New Jersey, Ohio, Virginia, Maryland, and the home of Mario Lemieux, Canada. <laughs> and Little Mel and I have a sign that sits on a shelf in the house. And it reads, families are like fudge, mostly sweet with a few nuts. And I want to tell you the sweet and nuts are here, and we ought to take advantage of this opportunity to get to know each other a little better. And I want to thank Dawn and Sarah. You got your sweet and nuts here, but I also want to thank you for your generosity, your kindness, and for Mike. We really, really like Mike. A quick thank yous. Bird, you've just gone down the list a little. <laughs> I want to thank my dad for being a great dad, a great grandfather, a great GGP, and I'm sure mom is uh, somewhere looking over this with a big smile, without a doubt. So thanks, dad. Thank goodness she chased me around the neighborhood when I had those shorts on. <laughs> it was her idea to get married. <laughs> 
And now for you, Bird. I, I, I just want to tell you that Mom and I respect and admire how you've handled all the challenges in your life. And uh, we're thrilled that you were so relaxed, so beautiful today, and it's a wonderful day. And Mike, I've got to tell you, there are two reasons that I really like you. <laughs> the first is that you have given Bird a second lease on life. You bike, you ski, you go to dinners, you travel, you go to games. These are things that you can enjoy for the rest of your life. But the most important reason was the night that you came downstairs and sat on the couch in your seat license and said, I love your TV, can I marry your daughter? <laughs> I knew at that moment that was the right guy for Bird. But I'd like everybody to raise their glasses for a little toast. Here's to health and happiness and love and fun that a wonderful marriage can bring you forever. And please create some Emma's or Karina's or Evan or Anybody, it doesn't matter. Please get started. Enjoy your honeymoon, but please get started. And as Mary Kay's dad would say, salute. Ladies and gentlemen, our father the bride. No Linda. No Linda. She said, let's have some Lindas. Well, what do you think, Kevin? Should we keep going with the toast? I knew this was something special when the bike rides got a little longer. Um, and we would be at Sunday dinner, and they would come in and say, oh, we just did 36 miles. And I'm like, oh, really? I just polished a couple uh, thumbprints from Giant Eagle. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Um, but I love Mike, I say that all the time. And like Kevin said, there couldn't be a better compliment to each other and your strengths. This summer, you know, we've been going to New Jersey, Avalon, for 30 some years, and uh, we all love it. And with the hurricane, our vacation was cut a little bit short this year. So we were determined to get that weekend. So it was Labor Day, there was one hotel room left on the entire island. So, um, there was eight of us in a hotel room. Mike and Katie and my parents and Dave and Emma and Kevin. And I remember thinking as we're all laying there going to sleep, all eight of us um, in one room, I kept an eye open. I'm like, Mike's gonna run. He's gonna go over the balcony. This is it. We're not. We're so close to the wedding, and he's gonna run. Um, but he did, and he stayed. And I'm like, wow, this is it. This is it. Mike stayed. That's a true testimony of um, really getting to know your family. You shouldn't have to see that, Mike. I'm sorry, um, all of us on our behalf. Um, but anyways, on a serious note, Katie, my sister, um, she's one of the most genuine you know people with the strength and courage that has given us all so much admiration over the year and mike just one thing just when you think you're a good gift giver you've met the best she trumps us all at christmas and um she's a very slow opener at christmas morning so just a couple things